This is Sway. 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 In the morning. In the morning. In the morning. Shake your body. Wake your fuck ass up. Then cross out your eyes. Like a bit like you. Yeah, that's a clip from Beyond the Reach. In theaters this Friday. Mm -hmm. Starring the one and only Michael Douglas. And this guy right here who's sitting next to me in about a year's time, man. It'll be ho so hard to sit next to this guy, man. You have to pay <laughs> yeah. just to stand in line to see him. Jeremy Irvine is oh, here. Thank you. Jeremy. Thank you. Thanks for having me. What up, man? How you doing, bro? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. It's good to be in New York. And uh, yeah, man, I'm having yeah. a good time. Yeah, yeah, I'm happy for you, man. I was watching, uh, who was I watching? Michael Douglas was on Late Night. I'm a big Michael Douglas fan, bro. Oh, my own. Yeah. yeah, yeah. The game was one of my my favorite movies of all time. You ever see yeah. that one? Yeah, I seen the game. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah did you no. did you study a lot of Michael Douglas before you start working with him? Just I did. Yeah, I did. I mean, you can't have to be careful with that stuff because I've done it before. I've watched so much of an actor that I'm about to work with movies that I get on stage and I'm just horribly starstruck. Mm. Oh, but, um, yeah, yeah. No, he was. Uh, he's great, man. I mean, you know, when you think of the career that he's had. And then if you met him, honestly, if you didn't know, you wouldn't know. Like, he wouldn't. He's just so down to earth and, yeah, just like a really cool regular guy. Yeah, yeah that, that dude, he's bagged a lot of women in this day, man. That's <laughs> really cool. <laughs> Michael well, Douglas, can you imagine? Yeah, well, here's the story. I had to do my first ever sex scene on this movie. Really? So I, you know, was horribly nervous. What? I kind of had to, uh, but I thought, who better to ask than, than Michael Douglas about how to do a sex scene? I mean, what was his advice? It, like every well, he just he kind of goes, you know, man, just go up to the actress and tell her what you want to do. Make sure she's cool with that. And so uh, I kind of go up to this lovely Australian actress called Hannah Mangan Lawrence, and I kind of go up like this kind of bumbling British idiot going, oh. I'm, I'm, I'm "Sorry, um, do you mind if I sort of uh, can I feel your boobs? Um, I don't, I don't know, can I?" Uh, uh, and uh, she was so good. She just kind of like grabbed me and threw me on the bed, and we just you know, kind of did it. But thank God she took the lead. So uh, yeah, yeah, it was funny. <laughs> See, I like when a woman takes the lead, right? You, you, you I big do. on that? Yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, I do when you're doing a sex scene. I mean, yeah. for those who don't know how a sex scene is filmed, you're given the the wardrobe or the costume designer come to you before, and they go, "We've left some some socks in your in your trailer," <laughs> and like, they're not for your feet. Oh, yeah. Well, no, they're not. Well, there's only one of them, and uh, <laughs> and what they do, what they do is they lay out all the different sizes. <laughs> And they let you choose oh. which size you're going to have. Which so, size did you choose, Jeremy? Well, well, if they come, I'm always like, geez, if they come back and I've only taken, like, there's all of them left except the little ones, they're going to know. <laughs> yeah, so, right. But then on the other side, you've then got to be on set with everyone. And if you wear the big one, then there's nothing in it. And it's just, it's just it looks like, it just looks like an empty sack. Right. So it's, it's, a, it's a fine line. And uh, yeah, you have to think very carefully about it and hope it's not a cold day. But, yeah. <laughs> Yo! Uh, I only imagine. Yeah. <laughs> wow. That's the, yeah. that's why they call this movie a thriller, huh? Right, <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, you know, you can also hope it's not too thrilling as well. That's the, uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's the other true. trap to fall into. <laughs> yeah, man. You, you don't want to get hard in a sex scene. <laughs> no, you do not. Ironically. No. Uh, Jeremy Irvine is with <laughs> us, man. We're going to open up the phone lines, talk more about the movie, and we're going to do some Celebrity Wire. Yep, and we got to talk about... Little Wayne and Young Thug and the beef that keeps on going. Shave four five. Mm -hmm. Sway in the morning, Shave four five. Uh, we're talking to Jeremy Irvine, who's here, visiting from across the pond. Well, That's actually, right. now, 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 you, you, you live, you're by continental, right? Yeah, kind of, kind of. Yeah. Best of both worlds. Yeah. But, um, yeah, man, it's kind of. Uh, I say my best buddy lives in New York, so I hang out here a bit, and then. Shout him time. out. He's a member of the Blue Man. Oh, group. yeah, he is. Benno. Benno is here with us. But, um, yeah, one of the Blue Men. He's uh, it's a cool job, man. Very cool. How do you feel about Americans? Because a lot of times, like... <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> oh, hate him. Wow. Hate him. Get me out of here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, like our food, I always just feel like folks overseas are just making fun of us. Like, we're fat. We don't know how to talk. Do you know what, man? The best... English food is so bad compared to American food. Okay. Um, yeah, especially like here in Los Angeles. Like, it's some of the best. I mean, I had sushi in England the other day, and I think it's literally just arrived as a uh, as a food source. And oh wow! Yeah, no, I mean it's um it's it's some nasty nasty stuff. I think you know the fish was practically fossilized. It was so old. <laughs> so uh, yeah, <laughs> no, you guys do food way better than us. Okay. Yeah. What yeah. about women, man? What are the like? Is the, is it all the same everywhere you go? It's all pink. Oh, jeez. There we go. Yeah. We're on, on to this already. Yeah. Um, yeah. You gotta you know, get there, Jeremy. You know. I, yeah. Yeah. 
Well, I mean, LA is cra- LA is crazy. Well, let I mean, me say this: it looked like between you and Ben, right? Does it Ben? <laughs> yeah, Ben. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it looked like y'all bagging a lot of women together, man. You know, like <laughs> y'all got that look. Amazing. You we know? come in with that, do we? Yeah, like, yeah. Oh, jeez. Wow. Well, <laughs> yeah. Listen, I'm happy that I'm happy that you think that. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, I do. I mean, I find over here. I, Man, I mean, like Los Angeles, everyone is so good looking. It's yeah. intimidating. I can't, I can't talk to girls in England, let alone in LA, where everyone looks like a supermodel. It's kind of yeah. the best looking girl, I guess, from every town. It's kind of the, the joke, isn't it? Yeah. But um, yeah, I don't know. No, I get. I think I think we're far too kind of yeah. British and bumbling and nervous and kind of Aww. sounding like Hugh Grant, which doesn't help. It never, <laughs> it never fails. The guys who get the most coochie, yeah, yeah, they always act like they get none. They're the most uh. humble about it, right? <laughs> You well, gotta play that. That's good, that's, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. Don't, yeah. don't admit to it. When they least expect it. <laughs> <laughs> Pounce. The game. Now, DB is our uh, movie junkie here. Hey, Big man. fan of War Horse. And go ahead, oh, DB. I got to see Beyond the Reach, and it was a great oh, movie. Cool. I like the ending. Very cool, by the oh, way. All right. Well, great. Yeah. Um, it, it's basically a cat and mouse uh, movie where yeah. you're the guy who knows everything about the desert and where you're stranded, and Michael Douglas is the guy with all the resources, and he's trying to kill you. Yeah, but it's really just you and him for the majority of the movie. What the hell did you guys do to pass the time for oh, all that man. time in the desert? It's, you know, when we were we were out in the middle of nowhere, we were shooting on one of the Indian reservations. But I guess the closest town was Farmington, where we were staying, um, and there was kind of one bar, uh, which got to know us pretty well. So, <laughs> <laughs> you know, there wasn't there wasn't a whole lot to do. Um, but you know, that's 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 where it was so cool for me. You know, for me as like someone so new to all this to get to spend a few months you know basically just with michael douglas was was amazing so yeah did he talk about his dad at all kirk douglas he looks like his, his dad, dad now did, yeah yeah ben right Hurt. i mean jeez yeah. i mean i don't i don't know you know we'd we'd, we'd share a car into work every, together and you know he'd be like oh i'm just gonna call my pops and you're like what <laughs> wow, wow. <laughs> I don't know. yeah yeah no he's um I don't know. He's, like I said, it, it, he just seems so down to earth and normal. I mean, you wouldn't know unless you knew kind of thing. It's really cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah. There's a scene in the movie where you, um, he's holding a gun up to you and you're just basically standing in your underwear. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I thought that'd come up. Um, um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, there's a lot of this movie where I'm in my underwear. Yeah. The idea is, is basically he, um, we go on a hunting trip. Something terrible goes, uh, there's a horrible accident basically and I want to go to the cops and but he doesn't and so rather than go to the police he uh, takes all my clothes off me and we're in the desert where, you know, without uh, water and shade, you're meant to die within a couple of hours. So the idea is he takes my clothes off me and watches me kind of stumble around in the desert and like die from dehydration and things. Yeah. Um, so, uh, yeah, a lot of it I'm um, just in my underwear, um, which I don't really I, I don't really think about it until <laughs> kind of now when the movie's <laughs> coming out. I'm going, oh, geez, everyone's going to see me naked. A lot but, of uh, female p- girls yeah. are coming. Well, you talked yeah. about how embarrassing <laughs> it would have been like when you did your first sex scene. Had you got aroused, but could you imagine getting aroused <laughs> in front of Michael Wait, Douglas? You know? Yeah, I know. <laughs> Man, what what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> what what triggered you? Yeah, what yeah, I know. <laughs> I know. And you're getting up really early in the morning as well. So uh, yeah, yeah. Minefield, minefield. No, I used I used uh, gaffer tape. But yeah, but I mean, I was just saying that. Like, I had a movie before this was a movie called The Railway Man, and I had to lose. Loads of weight for that movie. I lost yeah. about 35 pounds. Um, so I was super skinny. And then the director's phoning me up before we start filming Beyond the Reach. And uh, he's, he's a French director. And he's going, Jeremy, we must have the abs. We must have the abs. And I'm kind of going, <laughs> right, okay, we're in trouble. So I had to uh, I had to work hard, like really hard. So when that, you're like that. naked in a film, especially when you have sex scenes, do you give your mama like a heads up? Or do you care if she watches you? Oh man, I haven't I haven't dealt with that yet. I haven't dealt, and I've just done the movie. And my last movie is a movie called Stonewall, which uh, Roland Emmerich directed, all about the gay rights riots in uh, in New York in 1969. And uh, me and Jonathan Rhys Myers have uh, have a quite a a decent sex scene together. Wow. And uh, yeah, I'm I'm questioning how to breach that with my dad. Well. Uh, yeah. We'll see. Yeah. yeah, the sex scene with a man. That's great. <laughs> I do. I have a few, actually. Yeah, I have quite just... a few. <laughs> yeah. You're definitely committed to your roles here, yeah, man. No, I like it's done now, but we'll see. I mean, I don't know. I mean, there's got to be. I mean, there's got to be like people who have it worse. I mean, uh, yeah, it's not. 
yeah there's but no, you're, there's straight. No you're, you're straight you're straight yeah i am yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah which is um it's funny actually i thought it would be harder than it was uh, mm-hmm. don't, that wasn't an innuendo that was not an innuendo oh, 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 i saw that coming as soon as it came out of my mouth no I'm just going to write down everything I say yeah, first yeah, yeah, before man. I say it now. Yeah, but um, no, it wasn't. It was. Uh, I don't know. Like it's. It's you know. It's it's like doing it with an actress that you're not attracted to. It's kind of you know. It's no. It's no worse really. I mean, once you get over the first initial kind of. Yeah, the first time you, you kiss a guy, and then, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Awful, yeah. I didn't think we'd be talking about this today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sorry, Jeremy. Wait, wait, just lastly, did yeah. you have to pick out a sock for that scene, too? Uh, I, oh, God, no, I did, I did. But no, that time I had a, I had a flesh-colored uh, spandex thong. Okay, okay. So, yeah, you know, mm. but then, again, same, similar issues, because that's really tight. And yeah. that hugs every contour, every mm. lump, every bump. And, uh, yeah, it looks like you've kind of... Uh, do you know what? I'm not even going to go into what it looks like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pull out, Tell Jeremy. It's good. It's good. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, jump oh, out dear. of this one. Jump oh, out of this one, dear. man. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Jeremy Irvine, real quick, though. Yeah. You, you, you picked some great roles to play. Oh, thank you. Uh, you, you obviously, you're, you're a serious thespian, you know, and the fact that you do this, and you, I've read that you passed down some roles as well. To win an Oscar, um, or to be recognized, acknowledged, you've been, you know, with War Horse, you know that that received so many nominations. And yeah, yeah. What what does that mean for you as an as an actor? Um, you know, it it kind of means. I mean, I guess, I guess it kind of means everything. I mean, it's a very weird industry, and in you get so much um, when things go well, and yeah. you do uh, well, hopefully good work. Then you do get so much praise. I mean. Oh, it, but to be honest, I find it I find it kind of odd. I mean, when I go to things like the Golden Globes or you know the Oscars, things like that, um, you know, I think like my mom is a uh, my mom uh, is basically a, a council worker back home. She kind of you know rehouses homeless people and stuff like that, and she doesn't get fancy award ceremonies. And I don't know, it all it all feels a bit mm. a bit backwards to me, I guess. Um, mm. yeah. Maybe that's because I'm new to it. Soon I'll become old and jaded and I'll be like where's my champagne <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah I don't know but it's, it's, it is it's odd man when you first start going to them it is, it's really weird yeah, yeah. alright but, but Jeremy Irvine ladies and gentlemen oh, thank hang you. out with us we're gonna do some celebrity wire with Tracy G alright we got special guest Jer- Jeremy Irvine is joining us you can watch Beyond the Reach in theaters this Friday uh, co-star Michael Douglas wow Mm-hmm. All right. Hey, Jeremy, we got some celebrity uh, wire news here, man. You can chime in. Exciting times. All right. Yeah. yeah. Have it. It'll be you next week. <laughs> <laughs> Are you a Nelly fan, Jeremy? Yeah. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. Okay. Oh, well. no. Why? What's he doing? <laughs> you got to be careful, <laughs> right? <laughs> well, he's in some trouble. He actually just got arrested on felony drug charges. This happened yesterday because when he was on the tour bus, police, they did a routine traffic stop. Uh, they smelled weed. You know, unsurprising there. But they also <laughs> found... Five colored crystal type rocks that when they were tested, it came out positive for methamphetamine. Nah, they're mood crystals, aren't they? (laughs) (laughs) And this also isn't the first time that we've heard of such a thing coming from Nelly's camp. Now, he's denied everything, which, you know, is also the obvious route that he's got to take. But they're still investigating to see if it's actually his. I, I, I think it's probably somebody on on the road with him. You got you know, Jeremy. You gotta be careful who you surround yourself with, man. Definitely. You never know. Right. Something. It, it might not be you with the meth rocks, uh-huh. but it might be your home. Like Ben might ben. be. You know what I mean? Right. Under right. his hat. Yeah. I mean, yeah. You should see what he's got. Yeah. Under his <laughs> hat. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like Paddington Bear with sandwiches, but with uh, <laughs> you know, class A drugs. <laughs> oh boy. All right. Now I'm not sure if um, you're into Little Wayne. Uh, yeah, no, I am. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so then you <laughs> probably... <laughs> okay, I mean, I've never sounded so white. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. It's a little way. Yeah, yeah. He's been having all of these issues with cash money, you know, even though he was, like, hella tight with Birdman. Things have completely unraveled in the last, like, 365 days. He's trying to get the Carter Five out. He said that he's owed all these millions of dollars. And then he has to deal with this kid, Young Thug, who's pretty much replaced him as the son, quote-unquote son, of Birdman because Young Thug revealed that he has an album that's going to be called Carter Six. So obviously, if you're Wayne, and that's the franchise that you're known for, you're going to see that as disrespect, and that's exactly what Wayne said when he was out doing a concert. I'm sorry before I go any further. Fuck Young Thug! I want y'all to do me a favor. If y'all ever um, have 
Rich Gang or whoever it is in this motherfucker, y'all let them know I said, fuck. Also, before I go any further, I want y'all to do me a favor and stop listening to songs that of niggas that post naked on their motherfucking album cover. Yeah, I wonder yeah, what indeed. sock Young Thug chose when he was doing his naked shit. What size? <laughs> yeah, I'll stop that's there. That's not a thought that crossed my mind. <laughs> yeah. you know, Anyways, you so know, he, you don't get that with like actors. You don't like Zac Efron or, or, or Ryan Phillippe is not gonna look at Jeremy and go fuck Jeremy, right? right. No, you no, don't get that. You don't no, get that most kind people of... are pretty nice. Most people are pretty nice. Yeah. But you know, also if we do, we do in private. So yeah, yeah, yeah. no actors be. Right. We're, we're not doing it live on stage. Yeah, mm. I guess yeah. Not. <laughs> well, Young Thug, he wasn't that nice. Even though who, he fooled me during the first couple seconds of his response. Listen to this. I understand that Lewayne is frustrated about his career, and I feel him on that, but this is my item. I wouldn't ever in my life swap words with him or beef with him about nothing. This is a person that I look up to. Ha ha. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the ha ha <laughs> says it all. So so much yeah. can be said with the ha ha. So much sincerity, right? <laughs> yeah, so when you win that Oscar and you up there, just yeah. make sure at the end of the speech you go, Ha ha. Alright, man. All right. Tracy, thank you for that celebrity wire. Of course, uh, anytime. Okay. And then Jeremy, how can people reach you on social media if they want to? Social media, I've got Instagram, but that that's it. So for, okay. yeah, for now. Um I think it's because my publicist doesn't trust me. Okay. Ha ha. <laughs> yeah. Ha <laughs> 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 But I'm gonna go and post a naked <laughs> selfie after this. Hey. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so is it Jeremy uh, Irvine? That's how they can reach you. It's him? underscore Jeremy Irvine, yeah. yeah. Uh, it's sway in the morning. Only on Shade 45.